Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Savis Mustache here, and today I'm gonna show you guys the strongest warrior build possible in Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. This is the Barbarian Warrior build. Holy shit. And it's wearing the strongest pieces of equipment available. That means I'm wearing every single piece of equipment that increases the strength as the highest possible bonus. Okay guys, so for the main weapon, of course, we're gonna use the Devil's Nail, which you can get from Bitter Black Weapon level 3. Pretty fine those, right? Uh, I'm gonna... We're gonna be using the Barbarian Chief's Helm, which increases your strength by 10 points as the base strength. We're gonna be using the Martial Bracers, which increase your strength by 5 points. The Golden Belt, which increases your strength by 20 points. Also, you can get uh, the Barbarian Chief's Helm from Everfall chests and from, from uh, Bitter Black Island chests. So, Martial Braces you can buy from the guy that actually copies the other, read, the other items that sells the copies. And you can get Golden Belt from the, the dungeon where you find the dragon, right? The Assailant Bracers, which increase your strength by 5 points, and you can get those from Blue Moon Tower. Uh, the Assault Boots, which increase your strength by 30 points, and they are the piece of equipment, the single piece of equipment that has the highest strength bonus of all items at 30 points. The silk tights are optional because there are actually no clo leg clothing that increase strength in this game. So you can use whatever you want. For the cape, we're gonna use the sovereign mantle, which increases your strength by 10 points. And for the rings, we're gonna be using Master Rings, that increases strength. The highest strength bonus you can get from a Master Ring is actually 100 strength. But those are extremely rare and I did not have such a luck. So I'm using here one ring that increases your strength by 92 points and one that increases your strength by 88 points. But remember, you can get another 20 points of strength, making the maximum strength possible in this game, uh, 6,004 strength, which is incredible. And there are some optional items which you can use that are uh, the Persecutor Mask, which increases uh, the ability to knock down fools by 50 points. You can use the Carset King's Belt that increases the Stagger Power by 50 points. And you can use the Barbed Nails that increase both your Knockdown and Stagger Power by 100 points each. The maximum Stagger and Knockdown Power you can have with this build is 903 if you choose this setup that I'm showing you guys right here. Uh, but let's focus on maximum strength, okay? Also, you can swap uh, one of the Master Rings for a Warrior's Band that, incre uh, that actually enhances your skills so you can get more power, which I highly suggest it's a good trade-off. You don't lose much of your attack power and you have a lot of additional power with your skills, okay? Uh, also, I didn't say, but you can get the Sovereign Mantle from Bitter Black Armor Level 2. You can get the Master Rings from Bitter Black Gear Level 3. And you can get the Warrior's Band from Bitter Black Gear Level 2 and 3. The South Boots you can get from Bitter Black Armor Level 1. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's me, let me show you guys the final stats of this build. You're gonna have 5,968 strength. 
and if you get those master rings with 100 strength each you're gonna have 6004 you heard it right you can get over 6000 strength man and to get the base strength of 956 which is the highest strength possible in dragon's dogma dark reason as a base strength you must choose uh the warrior vocation as your first vocation then level up to level 10 and at level 10 you should choose the assass assassin vocation and you're gonna level up as assassin all the way to level 200 in this way you're gonna end up with 956 base strength you won't have much defense but it doesn't really matter since what matters here is power i'm not talking about the strongest warrior build in the entire game my friends you're gonna be using the whirlwind slash and dominant table launch and arc of deliverance as our skills and as our uh, augments i'm gonna show you guys here which is easier uh, we're using Autonomy that increase your both your strength and magic by 20% if you're traveling alone That means when you're not carrying your pounds with you and this time you're not using any pawn you, We're using clout that increase your strength by 20% Vehemence that increase your strength by 10% Ferocity that increase your core skills by 10% And the core skills are your normal attacks the bloodlust that increase your strength and magic by 20% at night time and you may think oh the sum up of all those augments are 70% strength boost but actually it's 80% strength boost because those stacked they stack multiplicatively and since the cap for any boost is 80% we already have the maximum strength boost possible okay guys so now let me show you quickly how powerful is this guy basically i'm gonna clear the first two rooms of bitter black eisen just to show a little bit how it works uh i'll look for the goblin stance and not the lizard stance because i don't want to fight death okay it's just perfect You see, we can one hit those guys with our basic attack, our light attack, one shots them. Now let's fight that core Chimera. Oh my god. Oh my god! Man! Oh man! We, we, get, we gotta get breed of the goat head nope okay i guess goat head is done oh man no. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Oh, dude. Don't knock me. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh man, no, I'm blind. All right. 
I hate this ability to blind. They have. No! Jesus Christ! Again! Oh man, stop that. If you're fighting as a warrior, you're gonna be using your your core skills a lot, because that's the way you can move around faster. Okay, one of them is dead. Now let's get to the other. Oh man, no, 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 no. Staggered? Man, that was strong. There we go! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Jesus! Just because I killed him? What a fag! <laughs> anyway, I saw the power of this guy. Okay, just gonna wait a little bit for the blind effect to wear off. I can't see shit and that's bad okay let's just wait a little bit in the next room we're gonna kill the dragon oh man it's sad He really had to blind me at the end. Just a little bit more. It's almost done. Yes, okay. Now let's continue and kill the dragon there. Okay, we got a thunder wyvern and two gargoyles. Let me show you guys how do we kill this stuff. Did the gargoyles spot me already? Just one of them. Now let's get the other. Where is it? Man! Okay. Now let's get the dragon. I'm doing it, it wrong. It's flying very high now. There we go. Dragon on the floor.
Man, this dragon's lucky as fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus. There you go. There we go! <laughs> oh my god! That was flawless. So that's it guys! That's the strongest warrior build possible in Dragon's Dogma. Dark Reason. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> it's very funny to play that deck, man. Holy shit! So if you're playing as a rider, remember, use your core attacks and run around and you will not have any trouble. And if you're fighting dragons, just strike its tail sometimes, it will fall down. So okay guys, that's pretty much it, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was the strongest warrior build possible. Thank you so much, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to give us a like, that helps us grow. And thank you so much, guys, and Happy New Year!